What's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Winterfell with our Let's Play Season 5, Episode Number 8. And I did a tiny little thing offline and it ended up being a, a bigger project than I expected. But I wanted to start meeting some of the demand. I'll pause it real quick now that you've seen some of the stuff moving. Um, we've got a little bit of residential and a bunch of commercial. And I wanted to start kind of a new area. And I thought we could go over here on this side of the highway on this side of the highway, on this side of the train track, sorry. But if you'll remember before, the train tracks were running on the ground and then I cut little nooks out to run the roads underneath it. And I basically switched that around. So as the, the train comes to this little T intersection, it now dips down into a valley. So what I did was I deleted all the roads and train tracks through here, carved the little valley with the landscaping tool, connected the train tracks up first, and then the train comes under here, it's a little steep, to get into the station, then it can roll back out either way. And then the roads I've just connected up uh, over those little valleys. So now we've got two four lane roads that connect to this side, and, uh, and I thought we could start building out over here. I had some buildings get abandoned because I had some power problems over here and I deleted the power lines and then I forgot to reconnect them, so that's good. So that should be connected. These little isolated houses up here, unfortunately got abandoned because they didn't have power. They do have heat. That should hopefully make all those people happy. Now, over here, this is where I kind of wanted my next commercial kind of pocket little Main Street area and that's starting to fill up nicely already. They don't have power though. They also don't have hot water. So let's get that connected across the little valley here. That should be good. And let's start gritting out some water and then we can start zoning off some more stuff. That actually has a little bit of coverage already. I guess I could have continued the grid out this way. Since it was already mapped out for me. Or maybe not actually, it was a little crooked. Let's fill that doesn't really matter i don't think those squares will complain because they have partial coverage for heat a little slop here but that's okay we just want some room to get some zones in there so i think what we'll do is we'll come up around the middle of this block go to our straight tool right about there and we'll come out 11 units and we'll hook this in over here and over here. We'll just go past it, past this road, and have this road come up through there. This is a four lane without, a four lane with tram tracks. Well, to about there for now. That's actually a pretty good spot. I think we can kind of round this town off down towards the train tracks, down towards there. Maybe we'll have a little cut through that comes up this way. And then that'll be our road that goes up into the, uh, the mountains there. Start getting some residents moving in here on these back streets. Maybe a couple little commercial buildings here on this street. You know, we could even continue this down through here, I think. Have a couple more commercial properties down this way. Maybe hook this up towards the train tracks. Before we come back up over here somewhere, let's come up this way. Something like that. Fill in these neighborhoods a little bit. Oh, I wish it wouldn't bend like that. We'll do that. I like that better. Now let's keep coming up through here and we'll make sure it's watered and ready to go for residents to move in. And we are almost, almost, almost at 15,000 and we'll be able to buy our next area.
do one more street back here. Get that all connected. You know, what? let's not do that with this last block. Let's delete this. Let's curve this in a little bit. Let's get a little windy with it as we get out into the woods. We'll hook it up to there. We don't necessarily need another road over that way. And then this can start to curve back in towards here. So if we did another, let's say rather than four lanes, what if we did something like a highway here? So we could do the two lane highway. Is this each direction? One lane, two lanes in the same direction. This is the two lanes, one going each direction. So we'll do a highway from here. And connect this up to like here. So that way there's a nice fast way to get through there. Let's see, is that the main? That's not the main highway though. This would make more sense to be a highway, so I take it back already. Let's switch this over to gravel to discourage people from going this way. Come on. Come on. All right. We'll do this strip maybe in a highway. You know what? We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. We don't need, we don't have anybody going up there yet except for those residents and those couple businesses. We will figure that out. Maybe we'll even have Another highway exit over there, but I'm not planning on buying this tile. We'll we'll come back to it. We don't need to rush these decisions. This can be commercial. Let's go ahead and hit play. And I thought it would be kind of cool. Like, let's have a little commercial pocket down here. Maybe we'll tuck like one of the malls in over here at some point. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll do this a little bit of commercial and then the rest of this can be all low density res. We'll leave that rock there. We don't need to, to dehome it. It's fine there. It was here before us. It'll be here long after us. You can stay. We don't need that one tiny little house. That should be good for now. We should get, hopefully, to 15,000 right there, and then we'll be able to buy our industry tile. Start meeting some of that demand down there. We'll have to look at turning this into a cloverleaf and at least one, if not both of these, into a cloverleaf as well. So there's more options for getting into here without coming back into our little rigged up system of a, an off ramp. It's not backing up onto there yet. Can we get underground and see traffic? We can. Let's back it up a little bit in the tunnel, coming off this off ramp. And 15,000. So we get an area, we get water treatment, crematorium, and cryopreservatory. We don't really need the floating garbage collector. Um, let's do the area, let's get crematoriums in, let's convert our water treatment over while things continue to grow. Oh, hey. Eating. Let's do this real quick first. Twenty-two is the magic number on heating pipes. Twenty-two hundred. Get that tiny little bit of overlap. So that looks pretty good. Most of that is covered now. Let's jump into, because it's right next to us here, the uh, death care, and let's get a crematorium next to every cemetery. We can. I like the lower, uh, smaller building there, so I'm going to overwrite this building instead. 
We'll go up here and get another one in. And over this way to do our last one. At least for now. We've got tons of tons of crematorium availability now. Bit of a worker problem up here. Hopefully that will get better as we have more and more residents moving in here. They're not too far away. We'll work on the tram networks at some point to maybe carry some tram traffic through here. Get some cross routes going. We want to stay away again from things like Metro on this map. So we'll try and get some people moving on the uh, trams or streetcars. The other thing that we want to do is train coverage and we haven't done any buses yet. We definitely have money to do some buses, so we could do that. Uh, but I want to stay away from Metro because this is going to be more of a small town feel. Take another look at our clock tower here. I'm second guessing the residential identity over here. It's not totally out of place in the grand scheme of things, but it takes away from the look of the clock tower. Look, the clock tower looks much better from this perspective. A lot of tiny houses in the background than it does here. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave it for now. We might come back and eventually change that around. Um, sorry, sidetracked. Always, always sidetracked. Uh, let's let's look at our areas for a minute here. So we could get some industry going. Oh no. No console. We can't build into that basin. Oh. I was so planning on going up there. I was so planning on building up there, and that is beyond the limit of what you can build on consoles. So 81 tiles you can build everywhere. Obviously it affects performance. But we can't get up into that mountain. Do we have another next best bet? Not really. Because I bet we can't get up there either. Right? If this is the original tile... And we can go over two and go over two. You can't go up. So, so, so disappointed. <laughs> oh my God. I sh probably should have looked at that first in the creative build. Man. So for any of you, for any of you that were excited about the, uh, the ski town, I apologize and we'll do my next snowfall build on, uh, on PC. Because this nine tile limit sucks. Uh, areas, I guess we will definitely buy this one then. 100%. Because we don't need to save any tiles for um, <laughs> for my ski resort. What the hell? Ah! Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we could definitely go six and seven out that way now that uh, we don't have that option oh i'm so disappointed and i am so sorry to anybody whoa so sorry to anybody that was disappointed about that that was really going to be one of the main features of this build which would have been possible on pc that would have been really cool to have a little a little town cutting through there a little kind of straight main street, one or two streets coming off of it, basic service coverage, hotel, cable cars, dirt trails, coming down the mountain. Could have had some fun with that. That is really, really unfortunate. I am so sad about that. But we will make do with what we have. These are the limitations of consoles, unfortunately. The sad state of affairs. We'll be able to carry this into a cloverleaf, bring the trains down here, do ferry service across the river to get residents over from either up here on the trams or over here on the ferries. Ah, oh, I'm still so disappointed about that. Why? Why console? Why? Just let me pick any nine tiles. Let me go all the way to the edge of the map. Why is that a limitation? Why can I not go all the way to the edge of the map? Or at least one square away from the square that's the edge of the map. That isn't even the edge of the map, right? 
We could buy those squares and not be at the edge of the map. I don't understand. I'm going to say edge of the map like 18 more times. Man, that's disappointing. Sad face. Cry emoji. Um, man. All right, well, we need more commercial. And what are we going to do? We're going to carry probably this four-lane road down through here next to the highway. We might carry this road, which is going to be kind of our main street of this side of the town, down over here. Ugh. All right. In the meantime, let's do one Cloverleaf. Let's, let's get this figured out. Because I think we want to start moving this stuff around. The commuter train really should go over here. Doesn't need to be in the middle of the industry area. So while we've got money, let's do a couple quick moves. Let's move this over here, if it'll let us. We could do that. Let's get this stuff out of here. We need to make room for train tracks. And let's make sure it is dezoned before anything moves back in. And this can be our little rail service for over here for this residential pocket. And then maybe we can bring it around the map this way to do a train station like right here. Might be kind of cool near the high density. That could work. So let's do train station. Why is that road a little crooked from the other road? I mean, it works, but... Do we straighten that? Do we fix this now? Before we drop a train station and all the infrastructure in? I think that we do. I think it's a good idea. Uh, regular roads, straight tool. Let's come out halfway before we curve it back into that other road. Like that. We'll drop our train on the straight segment now. And let's dezone this block that the train is sitting on. So that's all dezoned. Let's get these houses out of here next to the park. Not all of them. Let's keep these. Get those out of here. This is, they're going to be right on top of the trains. They are not going to like the noise. Something like that. A little bit of room. We can fill it in with some trees. We can put some more parks in. Maybe even a unique or two and convert some of this to uh, some more high density. But I'm not... 100% on that yet. Train tracks, let's curve these out a little bit. Now that we've got some room to play with. And is this gonna be the end of our line? I th think that it is. Like, I don't think we need a train station down here in Old Town on the gravel roads. We could hook up some bus routes and, and other things to get people moving around. So this might actually be the end of our line. We don't need a... a break-off point, basically. Uh, do we come under or over? Either are viable options. I'm going to go over. So this other train track comes in from there. That's actually an outside connection. So we could try and fork off of here and bring trains in that way. This is going to be cargo. So we're going to want that to go to our major industrial areas. Let's see, can we get a cargo station right in where the Train station was? Yes, we can. It's a little bit different on the curve where the train tracks sit. So let's get that reconnected. I don't know if that's 
a big enough spot. So I just I want to make sure it's long enough that an entire train length can sit in there. Looks like it would have been just fine. But just to play it safe. Come out a little further than we need to. So there's plenty of space for a train to sit on these tracks. If there isn't, things get backed up at those junction points. So now we've got a, a cargo terminal here for the farms to get stuff in and out. We'll do another train terminal down here. And then we'll do another cargo train terminal up here somewhere so that the industries can be well served. Let's figure out how to get this hooked up now. So we might have to knock out a couple businesses to do what I want to do here. Let's let's curve this in instead of curving out like this. Let's do that. We'll delete all those. We'll go back to our roads, which are gravel. And curved and let's curve this in now into there. Now, any of these buildings that are kind of, let's see if that one stay. I think those will stay. Those will be okay. This we want to do a little zoning over here. It got a bit of a mess. We'll dezone that. We'll switch to our fill tool. Nope, 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 nope. That's where the train tracks are gonna be. <laughs> Let's clear some of this stuff out because it doesn't have roads anymore. Okay, train tracks here. Can we do something like that? That's a little wonky. Let's fix this bend. A little bit better. So coming in from the outside world, coming in from off the map, trains could go to the cargo and get back on the rail line. They could cut over this way to come down into the town. And then our town can get Let's just bring the town line back to this same rail system, right? That doesn't, I don't need to really split off, go a crazy different direction here. I do need it to be, again, long enough where an entire train length can sit on that track. That, look, that looks long enough. Yeah, that should be good. You get this constant Guaranteed gridlock that will totally lock up your train lines if you keep these T intersections too short. So, um, so that is connected while we're right here. Let's fix that power problem that we just created. So, train station here, rain station here. Do we have another? Yes, we do another commuter train station and then eventually we'll hook on another one or two of the industrial so let's hit play three times speed let's go back into our train lines and let's just re recreate this so delete this line stop number one i actually will pause it real quick i don't want people to leave the train terminals if they were already planning on going somewhere uh, stop number two. Stop number three, and then we'll just circle back. Real simple, but hopefully this will help people move around the town. That should be what? One, two, three, four, five stops. Let's hit play. See if that refreshes. Oh, that's train line yeah why does it say two stops did i not do that right let's let's redo that transport trains delete the line 
One. Two. Oh. The trains can't curve that way. Because of the way I built the lines. Let's try to hook this in a little bit more gradually this time. And then come back at it with a bigger angle of attack. So a train coming this way couldn't go left, but they just stay on the train tracks if they want to go that way. So now we should be able to do this line. Let's just, again, delete it. <laughs> Third try is a charm. One, two, three. We'll follow it back. On its wonky adventure, back to the middle stop and back to the final stop to complete the line. Okay, now play, now transport, now train. One, two, three, four, and maybe the final stop doesn't count because it's just where it's circling back around, but it looks like everything is okay there. We come across the river, we go that way, we get back on. Make a stop over there, stop on the way back, complete. Hopefully that will be more encouraging for people to uh, to get around the town a little bit better. I saw a water problem up here. It doesn't look like it's pipes, is it availability? Oh, and this is an awesome tip. I should mention, I, to I totally forgot to mention this, but the decoy or Kung Fu? It was Kung Fu that mentioned this amazing tip. So what I normally do when I go into info views is I hold Y or triangle on PlayStation and then use the left stick to go around this, this radial wheel. But there's an even quicker way. So let me pause. Problems are happening while I'm talking about this. If you hold Y and then press up on the D-pad, that brings you straight to areas. If you hold Y and then push right on the D-pad, that brings you to economy. Down will bring you to info views and left will bring you to city statistics, which actually changed chirper look. Snow hat. Not that we have chirper turned on. I think I haven't turned disabled, but oh. Okay, <laughs> apparently I've never done that. So achievement unlocked, but that is a really quick way. So hold Y or triangle, and then the four D pads bring you to those, those common areas. So again, up is areas, right is economy, down is info views and policies on the left. So there's less, uh, less fiddling around with the, uh, the radial wheel, which is nice. Real quick, before we call it a day, let's drop in one more water pump, since we did just see that was a problem, and then let's get it connected, and let's call it a day. We made some progress. We, uh, we started out again with a modification of the train line, got the trains all hooked up, got a new little neighborhood spun up over here, utter disappointment that we will not be able to build a little ski town down there. I'm so disappointed in that. And that is one of the reasons why console uh, sacrifices a lot, unfortunately, in comparison to the PC builds. You can build on every single tile all the way up to the edge of the map. I can't believe we can't go one away from the tile that is the edge of the map. I was really hoping on building up there and I should have noticed sooner. So sorry to disappoint on that. Maybe in the next episode, uh, we will take a look at the town at night. That might be kind of cool. Let me uh, go into options and set day night mode on now before I forget. And I will, uh, I'll go ahead and save it here. We still need to work on the clover leaves. One, two, three at a minimum, maybe even a fourth or, or we'll keep this a T that goes down into the industrial area. Maybe we could do that. 
to to not clog up a uh, a cold relief over here for this town. But highway is definitely something that we need to work on. We will do that in one of the next episodes. One more look at our beautiful city arch, and I got to get that power line out of there. That does not that does not look the part right there. Kind of hurts the hurts the view. But uh, as the sun starts to move in our sky, we'll take a look at the town at night in the next episode. Stay tuned for that one. If you did enjoy the video, likes, comments, shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications. Join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, and we'll see you on the next one. Until then, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.